Okay, so currently in this project, if you click on the cat, you get a zoom in, and then if you hit escape, you exit the zoom. Well, what someone said is, okay, well, how about when I click in, click on, it zooms in, and then when I click again anywhere, it zooms out. Rather than having to hit the escape key, that way you're not splitting the control between keyboard and mouse. So to do that, there's really a whole bunch of ways, but I'm going to I'm going to work with the uh, format we already made. And that is we currently are checking for the escape key being pressed. So in zoom cam and frame control, we're looking to see if the escape key is pressed. OK. What we're going to do is we're now also going to check to see if the mouse is being clicked, the left mouse button. However, when you're doing this, okay, when you're doing this kind of key press, it's not looking for the mouse being clicked on any object, okay? Just as you can't press the escape key on an object, you're just pressing the escape key. Same thing, you're not pressing, uh, if you check for the mouse using this method, okay, it's just checking to see if the mouse is being pressed and doesn't care what the mouse point is over. So that's going to create a bit of a conflict because right now we're looking for exactly that. So we'd both be looking for a mouse click on an object and looking for a mouse click um, anywhere in the screen. So let's make a slight change. Just as there's an up on mouse down, there's also an on mouse up. So we'll just quickly run that. So what happens now is when you click on the cat, it no longer um, zooms in. It's when you let go of the mouse that it now zooms in. So it's a subtle difference, but it's checking for the up, not the down. So now if we check for a mouse down elsewhere, it's not going to conflict. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. So we're in the zoom cam. We're going to copy and we're going to paste. And here's what that would look like. Rather than escape in quotes, it would be mouse space the number zero because the left mouse button is considered the mouse zero. And we're doing exactly the same thing as the escape key. So we're saying, uh, just as we said, if the escape key is pressed, do this. Now we're saying if the mouse is pressed, do this. And again, it's treating it just as a key press and not as um, uh, any kind of collision detection. It's simply saying the mouse is being pressed, period, anywhere in the screen. So like sometimes you'll see that you'll see click anywhere to continue. Same kind of thing. So we did that here. So, um, and like I said, it's just changing this one uh, part of the, uh, the little routine is changing it to mouse zero. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. So in the frame control, we're gonna copy that, which is dependent upon escape being pressed. And we're also gonna change that to mouse zero. We save it. So frame control, which is attached to the frame, if you press mouse zero, the left mouse button, it um, disables the uh, sprite renderer so you no longer see the frame. And this is set to uh, uh, the variable zoom active is set to now. Same thing for the camera. If you press the left mouse button anywhere, disables the camera, sets zoom active to now. And in cat control, we changed on mouse down to on mouse up. So let's just make sure everything has been saved in all three. So a fairly minor, fairly modest change, but it adds that extra functionality. But there's one more thing we need to do. So what's going to happen is when this cat is zoomed in, you're zoomed in on the collider box around him as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to disable that collider box which isn't a big deal. Uh, the collider box is on the cat. So right now when we say on mouse up, okay, we set this to active. Now we're also just gonna disable that collider box. So just as we disabled a component of the other objects, we're going to do uh, get component collider
sorry, box collider. I'm getting it backwards. Box collider 2D dot enabled. So again, that same uh, syntax. You're, you are saying get component, what component, and then you're looking at its enabled status, and its enabled status will be false. But that means we're going to have to re-enable it. So first, let's run this. So we click. And what happens is, again, the collider box is zoomed in here, so you'd get like a flickering. Now we can click again, and it goes away. But now, click won't work because we had to disable the collider box. So what we're going to do is we just need a, a, um, to enable that collider box. So what we are going to do is we're going to simply check for zoom active because that's what we're using to coordinate everything. So if zoom active equals, uh, equals no or n, then this will get re-enabled. So same statement, get component, what component? The box collider 2D. Okay, what attribute of it? Whether or not it's enabled and now it's gonna be set to true and that should complete everything. So we click on the cat, we can click here goes away. Click on the cat. We can click here. Goes away. Click on the cat. So there we go. Um, so we had to make a few changes, but not much. Still fairly modest. F still fairly simple. And uh, now we've gotten rid of the escape key. Well, actually, we haven't gotten rid of it. Um, both work in tandem. Uh, in fact, this is actually pretty common where you have alternate control methods. So I would say that you might want to keep them both in just like we did here rather than getting rid of one. So that should do it.